Good morning. It's Saturday morning and um, I'm down at the farm getting some pots and blankets to cover my crops with vegetable garden uh, due to the probable freeze frost warning. But while I'm down here, I have some thoughts uh, just uh, regarding where we're at with this pandemic. We're now entering somewhere around the eighth week. And I know it's uh, been a challenge for many people. It's definitely changed all of our routines. And, um, and that's a good thing, I believe. That's a good thing. I know that I've prayed, I've heard others pray this too, that the Lord would bring this COVID-19 to a swift end and, and uh, bless protection for the caregivers and everyone and, and grant grace where uh, comfort's needed. But at the same time, the scripture also says, and we know that God's able to and will work all things together for our good, uh, loving him and called according to his purpose. So with that in mind, I've just been uh, pondering this one phrase, one word actually, that I believe is in order for God's people. Uh, during this time uh, where there's a shaking and a stirring, uh, we're definitely out of our comfort zone. We're all looking forward to getting back together, going to church and our routines, but our routines have been upset and I believe there is something that God wants to do at this time in our lives. And I believe that it has to do with this one word. I believe he desires that his people would thrive. All of us thrive in these times when uh, we find ourselves going through maybe times where we're feeling dry. We, we're anxious at times, and that is that we can thrive. And, um, and being able to thrive does, doesn't necessarily mean that there won't be some times of uh, anxiety and uh, tears. Many times we get anxious or worry a little bit. But as we begin to press our way into Jesus Christ, I believe that we can have the edge. We can have his presence to be with us because the peace of God is not the absence of a storm or a situation, but his presence in our lives. When I thought of the scripture, it's in... Um, Matthew eleven twelve and it says, Since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God has been advancing with force, and forceful people are taking hold of it. Pressing our way into Jesus Christ, uh, persevering. And that's one thing that I see that this pandemic and our not being able to come together and have fellowship I'm thankful for the technology where we're, uh, we're able to hear God's word. There's so many avenues where we can hear the, the living word of God and encourage us from devotionals to services. And uh, I'm thankful for that. The Zoom meetings, I've heard so many are blessed by that. But thriving in God does not take place during those venues. And they're needed. We need the word of God. We need fellowship. We can, and we've been in that routine, and it's been good. But now we find ourselves in a different season where I believe God wants to do something deep in our lives. And uh, it gets to be very personal. It gets to be very personal, especially when we get dry. And we find ourselves with a deeper hunger and longing for God. And this involves faith. It involves faith kicking in and beginning to, as believers, use the keys that God's given us, the keys of the kingdom. I found myself this past week going through a dry time. Uh, we're still working a lot, and we're really busy, and it can be a stressful time. And I find myself, at least in my mind, beginning to think about it and trying to, and I got a little anxious about it. And then there's some other situations, physical needs, praying for others, and you find yourself almost complaining and murmuring about it. And uh, that's not good because we all know that just invites spirits to come in of darkness and depression. But I felt the Lord prodding me just to begin to worship him and give thanks, just to, to sing out loud. And I started doing this all through the day. And I'm not going to tell you that 
the heavens parted and I heard some loud voice come down from heaven. But what I did experience, I believe, is a calming presence of God where there was a confidence I felt, an edge over the situation. Situations have not changed a bit. And this is part of thriving. This is part of thriving. Just a pressing your way, a, an effort on our part to begin to step out in faith. And in this one situation for me, praise and worship God. We all know this, and, but here's the thing. Are we, are we practically doing it? is faith actually got legs and feet to it to where we're thriving. And this is just one avenue I found. Uh, and I know during dry times, I know in with landscaping and plant material, which we work with, dry times are good. That's when roots actually go deeper in plant material and uh, Trees begin to grow better. They're able to weather strongs more, whereas where there's always that water there, there's always just that whatever's needed, then the tree actually can become more shallow. And when storms come, they can get blown over. And you look at the, uh, and I'm not, again, I'm not saying that what we've had for years has not been in order, but now God's changed the routine and I believe that's because of not only things that are coming and here upon the earth, but God wants his people to be rooted and grounded in a greater way in Jesus Christ. He wants me to. And in order to do that, we need to press our way into Jesus Christ. Uh, there's another scripture in Philippians uh, 3.14. Paul talked about this. He says, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Persevere in pressing there is an effort on our part, and, and we know that we don't want to do anything under the inspiration of our nature. You don't want to try to do things and strive in yourself, but there's an effort if we're believers, and this is a good question. Are you a believer? Am I believer? So I confess this. I says I am a believer, so I can begin to step out in that knowledge, in that belief that it is Christ in me that is pressing that is making this effort just to sing a song through the day. But it also actually open the Bible. Open the Bible for a time of just reading God's words. And I've said this before, but it's important. It's important if we're to thrive. I'm reminded right now as I'm speaking of this, of that old children's song. Uh, read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow grow. We're the children of God. And that childlike faith, God would have us in these times when we're not able to meet together and we find ourselves um, still busy and still we get into some routines, but begin to practically experience Jesus Christ by opening our Bible, asking him to sit down with us and where he can open the word to us. It could be a Bible reading plan. It could be one scripture and just begin to unpack it. Maybe just, just meditate on it. Here, and, and the psalmist did this. I don't know where the verse is at, but David said he recited God's word out loud. Do you know that's good to do? The devil hates that, by the way. And of course, we, I know last week, I believe uh, Brother Steve mentioned, talked about prayer and the and then Christ was praying and the and disciples were over there and they actually went to sleep, just literal sleep. But in times like this, this atmosphere, even though we're in a pandemic, we're not able, not able to go to church and meet and see each other in that venue physically, there's still that lure to get sleepy and not be actively involved in, in the keys of the kingdom and I mentioned a few of them, and prayer is a great one that is, I'm, I'm telling you this, whether you're, you, you're praying or not praying, the enemy's fighting that. He'll tell you you're not praying enough, and put all, and, you, and you yourselves, you can beat yourself up over this. But I would encourage each of us as believers to press our way into Jesus Christ and, and just begin to, to knock on heaven's door and call upon him. 
and to get to know him better. I believe God's heart in this season we're in, and I've said it before, but it just keeps coming back to me. And now we're in these phases of phase one of beginning to get more more back into the routine of working and hopefully meeting together as a church and things. But God wants us to thrive right now and not just in the things we're doing, forget them. This is a time where spiritual growth and faith can actually grow. And so uh, I'm just encouraging myself and each of us to not rush by this. And uh, if through the day, when Monday comes or Tuesday, maybe you've been in a, you've listened to a service or you've had your devotional reading or in a Zoom meeting, which is wonderful, or other avenues where you're hearing God's word, but when life is going on through the week, these are times when God's people, he'd have us to thrive and be connected to him, abiding in him in a greater way. And I've mentioned prayer and worship and just reading the scriptures. I'm, I'm going to tell you this, these three simple avenues of being, being uh, open are necessary. Uh, the scripture says, in him we live and move and have our very being. And I desire that for all of us as God's people. And I'm just uh, looking to him that we can uh, stay connected and, uh, and press our way into Jesus Christ. See you later.